Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries for the month of June. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there, but if not, then check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. So at the heart of this reading, we have the Three of Love. This was the first card out, and it represents... Um, that there, well, what it's telling me is there, there has been heartbreak and upset and you or they, whoever's energy this is, is wanting to, uh, to heal that situation, to, uh, recover, um, to move away from the heartbreak and upset of a situation from the past. Just wanting to put that behind you. This is something that has occurred. And she she heads towards this Ace of Wands. And this Ace of Wands uh, is an opportunity uh, to restore, to recover this situation. Um, it is what she... The opportunity ha may have come to her from the other person, um, which has given her hope, uh, or she has a sudden inspiration or a sudden idea how she might be able to save the relationship, to recover it, to restore it, to lay down these burdens. The thing is, for her, it's taken its toll on her and she doesn't know how much more she can take. So this is why she's lost in thought in the past and wanting to make the right choice right now. And she knows she has to make a choice. She's confused. Wanting to restore the relationship, the peace and the harmony wanting to uh, recover, to heal the relationship. Her vision is here in the Two of Love, the Empress and the Ten of Cups. This is what's at the root. This is where she wants to go. So this can be an emotional decision to, uh, to try to save this. Maybe she was between uh, saving it or um, like giving it a last push, persevering, or walking away. So this could be a choice uh, to, or it's what she's thinking of, to continue to persevere, to go after her Ten of Cups, because she clearly um, desires to have this relationship to restore it. There's a decision, um, or that decision, she needs to make. Two of Swords energy. Um, here she is studying the coin. A decision that needs to be made with regards to this union. So she's looking at him. They're both here. Um, and when it comes to him, it's like she's, uh, she's stuck here on an emotional issue from the past with this person okay and i feel that perhaps she has already given him a warning in the past because she doesn't want this she doesn't want to fight the um it's like a, she can't she has difficulty to concentrate because of the past or something that was done in the past. Um, seven of, uh, of Cups. It could be... Um, it could be... We do have the devil in this reading. I mean, it's here. So, um, this could be... Um, she's made a bad choice when it came to this person or um, is making a bad choice 
or is about to, um, or she feels stuck in her situation and she just doesn't know how to get out of it. She's got a lot of options, but you know, which one is, is true and which one is false in these cups that are before her? Which one should she choose? It could be that uh, if this person has given her hope that that they could return to the sun, um, it could be that she's not trusting it. It could be that this is what she's questioning here, whether it's true or false, based upon past experiences that she's had with this person. Um, she really desires, really, really desires this vision below. Okay, that's what this card is telling me. But she feels she doesn't have enough information about whether or not they can actually get there. Things are very unclear. They're very murky here with the moon. Um, she could be paying attention uh, looking for signs. She may have to use her senses to navigate her way through uh, uh, through this very murky uh, energy. So here, um, goodness, the devil. Um, the devil, the devil speaks or can speak to our internal struggles with external temptations and the, the choices that we have in this matter or in the matter. Um, it can indicate that somebody is playing with fire. We see that there's deception here, you see. Um, the Seven of Swords is here, and it, it is in the reverse. Um, this speaks to somebody who's false, somebody uh, who wears two faces, somebody who's uh, keeping secrets. And this uh, is a warning that you could be on the receiving end of a betrayal after a period of suspicion and doubt, which we see already in play. Um, we have it in our next card of the Seven of Dis. Assessing, becoming impatient. Um, this relationship, uh, it feels like work. It, uh, it's uh, something that constantly, constantly requires nurturing, energy, effort. You, your full attention needs to go there. And it's like you're still not gaining ground. Um, this could be uh, staying in uh, a relationship that you know is not good for you with the devil being here also. So, you see, here we go back to the desire. Um, the Four of Cups. So, you're unhappy with your reality because nothing's growing. This person doesn't give you any attention. It seems like they don't care. They're not putting any effort or work into the relationship. You are, though. It's here. It's right here. Okay? You're doing all the work in this relationship. And you are desiring for it to go, to move to the sun, to peace and harmony. This is your wish to, to be able to depend on this person, that you could rely on this person. You are wanting this emotional security here. You want to be able to trust this person. You want a long-term, stable future, but that's not what you got. You got something that's always in flux 
here. And um, maybe you stay because you're just trying to avoid all of the drama. Um, but inside, inside, it, it's, it's, there's like a storm going on. You try to be calm. You don't let it show. But inside, there's a lot going on here. You're hoping to be able to transform this situation. You could be wondering if uh, the other person is kind of setting a trap or something. Because I see a trap here. Um, that they are emotionally manipulating you. And it could very well be with that Seven of Swords there. You don't have all of your information. It's been said again. Here we have the High Priestess. There's wisdom yet to come because it is behind you. But um, clearly there are deeper emotional issues at play here. Things on this card. See how peaceful and playful it seems. That is an illusion. There is something much deeper going on here. And this card is saying that things... I mean, it could be uh, somebody pretending to be happy when they're not pretending to be happy. Here we know they're not. Um, but things... things may appear like this on the surface, but beneath the surface lurks the devil. Lurks a lot of emotional uh, issues, problems. It's like there's a, a, a whole lot of drama that is just simmering beneath the surface. And at some point, in this relationship, it's just going to come out. It's like trying to keep a lid on it. But it's toxic. It's the devil. And here we have somebody looking at the signs again, paying attention to the signs to see if they can bring something back to life because they're in the desert. Nothing grows there. So nothing is growing here. And with that, they feel defeated. The arms hang. They literally hang as they wait. And they wait. hoping that things will get better. Really, it's um, it's um, you could be feeling with the devil very, very drawn or very attached or still very attracted to this person. And um, and don't or are, are not yet ready to release them, but um, you could be holding on to something that is dead. This can easily be, and most likely is, unrequited love. Somebody has been holding back a truth in this union. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to uh, everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.